Anyway, welcome back to Woodishan Teachings, where last time we left off, the group was fighting an uphill battle, quite literally, for ghosts to reach, well, here. Where after a protracted fight with all of this shit over here, uh, they managed to A, knock out this weird totem thing which seemed to dissipate the ghosts, and B, kind of knock out Dominic. Wow. <laughs> Not that easy, <laughs> fucking hell. Okay, okay. Just easily amused, anyway. But last we left off, uh, the group was deciding, well, some people decided they wanted to search the island, as there are three kind of central locations that make for easy searching. And other people were like, you know, I'm just going to fucking wait down by the boat, this place is weird. Which is currently where we're left off. And which leaves me with a question. There are three locations you can search. There is here, which doesn't have a box because you're already here. There is the docks, and as some of you saw, for probably those of you with Dark Vision, uh, further up this place, there is a big library. The main question is, do you want to stick around to search, or do you want to GTFO? I mean, I think there's only one answer to this question. We stay around? I like books, but I have a, I'm have carrying an unconscious man to a boat, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I believe I can easily move you, because last time you said you were going to take... He's free and wait by the boat. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to go searching, but Ibos is completely tapped in basically everything from what I remember, and he sucks at searching. As far as you can tell, at least looking around, this place seems... Well, there's no ghosts anymore, at least. You're not sure if there's anything else around this place. Mm -hmm. I guess Ibos will search the docks, and then he will be in sort of almost the same area as Alana. Is there anything Alana would like Ash to keep an eye out for while they're searching the library? Bah, uh, fuck. Um, I didn't think I'd get this far. If Alana want to go to the library, I can watch people. That would be appreciated, actually. Alana will just help and probably be rolling with them, because he's probably a better fit for sitting and guarding for now. Yeah, he can agree with that. He hasn't really used anything, and he actually has a bunch of force spells that'll be useful if any ghosts pop up. Yeah. I suppose in that case, uh, they can both set up camp by the boat and wait for everyone. Uh, will we even make, even, will we even prepare food for everyone gets back? Eventually, eventually makes you hungry. That's fair. Uh, I'll just leave Silas to the side for now. He can I'm gonna go look at the shop. Back. You'd be good. Okay, you're staying here. Which Mary will stick around with you. I guess I'll just say Silas is with you as well, because that feels like something he'd kind of do. Mm -hmm. Actually, I guess the arguments are my first thing here going to the library. Eh, he... we have Ash, you'll be fine. Yeah, but I don't have great perception. <laughs> Never to say. Well, actually, using... that's a good point. I'm using knowledge to look at books, I'm not gonna lie. Look, you've got time, you could take 20. <laughs> He'll go with you because, although he doesn't have good perception, Jun does Jun, actually. Before I make a fill of myself, I think Jun. I think Jun she hasn't did. We kept, we kept sending her scouting, so she should have some yeah. perception. Yeah. Okay. She has a positive mod. Well, she has a plus eight, which is actually pretty good. There we go then. Does mm, I just roll a deep and see who goes first? First is dot. Uh, one is docks. Two is here. Three is library. I mean, I I will volunteer to go first because I'm the only one searching the docks. So Fair enough. Aaron and Maria, all right. Well, no, they're staying yeah. here. They were searching around the pillar and the shops surrounding it. Ignore the people on this map and just go fucking throw them uh, to the I, Oh, I, I thought, I didn't realize there were four areas of search. Well, one of them was guarding the bottom, or one of them was docks, like guarding people. One of them was docks searching. Yeah, but I, I think Torin meant he didn't realise it was an option to just stay where they were and search that area, rather than oh, going yeah, elsewhere. That's... Yeah, if you want yeah, to do that, Torin, that's also an option. Here, so I'm just gonna give- I'm just gonna send Pres Prismality with you, Tinder. Out to the docks? Yeah. Okay. And I'll go to the ocean. Can't believe you make blub, John blub, blub. immediately. What a shitty DM. People fool, everyone drowns. Can't be bothered deleting tokens because it's such a pain in the ass to go get them back. <laughs> Hold on, let me go get a boat for you. <laughs> I mean, technically, so he, be he can't. Boats. He can't be asked to bring everyone back later, but he can go and find a boat to sit you all in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, boat. 
technically you'd have two robots because there's actually quite a lot of your robots still fit that mean. You know, it's actually yeah, not there, there's that one hard right to... there. <laughs> that one it's sucks. Not... <laughs> it's not that hard to bring tokens back because they're linked to your character sheet. You can just drag them yourself. I know, onto it. but it's like, and it takes time. Nope, everyone else isn't able to bomb. Let's see, well, if you were guarding, you're dead. I roll and help him prepare uh, food. Ash was going to like be getting anyone. I don't think so. But you post on Prismality, you can search for Dockside. Which, I'll tell you now, thank, well, presumably because you're going to spend some time doing it, you don't actually find much beyond fishing stuff. In various houses, you can find old boats, you can find fishing equipment, and it seems that most of the people who, well, like, the houses down here are either warehouses for stuff that is long since rotted, or houses with just general house stuff. Bo, can you give me... I'm sorry, Tinder, can you give me a perception check? I, I was expecting this, don't worry, Jenny. No, it's, it, it's okay. Also, are you using any spells? I already burnt heightened awareness earlier. So, no. no I, 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 I could, you I could use, use a guidance. <laughs> yeah, it's just in case you want to do that or use the tech magic or anything. I'm sorry, I I can do both. Do both. Guidance and detect magic. Go. Fifteen. Hey. There we go. Okay, I can tell you a few things. Also, unfortunately, personality, uh, this just isn't your your day, apparently. But, it plus you notice a few things. First of all, the sand underneath your feet is magical, though only very slightly. Well, that, you kind of already gotten... That would explain why it like, felt so soft. And... Yeah. Which you think is pretty much all this sand does is feel very soft to people walking on it. Anakin would love it. It's true. Other than that, the only f other thing you really detect of significance, which thankfully your detect magic helps a lot, is this building here is glowing very brightly to your sight. Like the whole building? The whole building. If I go all... inside the building, is anything in there glowing, or is it just like the walls? Well, here's where you come into the first complication. There's no way This in. building doesn't actually have a door, no. Is there windows? No. No windows, no doors. The only thing you can see is on the front of the building, there's like a massive like runic array of some sort. Various looping symbols form something, but you're not quite sure. I guess I'll do the sensible thing at first and try an arcana to work out what the hell these symbols are. <laughs> I'm just glad you remembered you have it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Never mind. Do, does Prismelody have Arcana? Uh, I don't believe so. Or, or would there be any other no. check applicable to working these out? Uh, let me she look. Has, she has a point in planes, but that's about it. Uh, planes is unfortunately not useful here. The only other thing I could really see being uh, potentially viable here is engineering, which I don't think you've <laughs> you have. I certainly don't. Let's see, I'm 90% sure I don't have any spells left that could remotely help with this. I suck at the perception to find any sort of secret doors. So, Ipos is going to do the Ipos thing and start digging. Start digging through the sand, try and go under the wall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that moment when um, J-Mac did not expect that. <laughs> it's not that I didn't expect it, it's more like, did, will this affect it? Because technically these houses do have a foundation. You can't really just, unfortunately, yeah. for Ipos. No, I, I, I know, I, I fully know that he's probably not getting in there, but until others get back, Fair. there's... I, I have no spells that can help with this, and I've already failed the check to work out what those runes are for. So... There's, there's not a lot I can do. <laughs> I would say you are investigating this place because it's noteworthy. And after a with time, you can attempt potentially find something out just for, I don't know, trial and error. <laughs> okay. In which case, we'll shift to one of the other groups. Uh, the, I guess go sideline next because, oh, actually, Ash, you're saying. Wait, then who? Oh, is it just Alana going to the library? No, Ash went to the oh, library. Right, okay. I thought you were staying with a. Aaron. In which case, since it's pretty much just Aaron of the market, back we go. Well, mm -hmm. Emery. Emery. But yeah, but I mean like one PC. It's faster to go for the one person. Which, welcome back to the market. Unfortunately, yeah. time has taken its toll 
Although you can see the shop fronts here, a lot of the stuff on their shelves has either been picked clean by scavengers, presumably other students who come down here, or stuff is rotted. But that doesn't mean there's not anything. Would you like to search? Yep, Aaron is going to pick up a basket, brush it clean, hand it to Rusty to carry, and then is going to start going window shopping. Okay, then. In which case, give me a perception check. If you're using anything, please declare it. Tears to wine. Okay. I don't know how many of your, like, 50 extracts you already have prepared. A lot of them. Oh, rest in peepas. Um, it's okay, I still prepare, like, two tears to wine every day. I know, it's just because I know, like, you know, your stuff. Aww, I rolled a three! Uh, let's see, Mario age on that for a 19. Rusty I will attempt so to much. aid! Rusty will attempt to aid! Come on, boy, you can do it! Oh, you have plus two for finding hidden objects. Okay. In which case, you just thanks to you, uh, that plus two, you actually barely skim the DC of this. Hey. In one of the mar in one of the places that you're searching, or rather, probably window shopping for, you notice something weird. In that, the floor, the inside of the floors of these shops are kind of sandy. It's kind of unavoidable when, like, village or outside of the shops is covered in sand. But you notice one particular spot where it's like, huh. It, the, like, it looks like the sand has fallen down between, like, very specific cracks here. And with a little bit of work, you can leverage up the floor to reveal what appears to be a cache of supplies left by scavengers. Give me a second, because there's a lot of words here that I need to post. Mostly because you actually found some crafting regions. Ah, uh, formatting. Also, I hope you like magical shields, because I'm pretty sure this is the first one we found ever. Good thing so many of us use magical shields. And this one's a buckler, so technically fairly uh, a decent amount of you could use it. But I don't think bucklers have a penalty to their use, so like any of us could technically use it. Oh my god, I'm... Yeah, I forgot to eat something. You forgot to eat something? No, I forgot to fucking use something on this melody. Ah, uh, well. Okay, crafting regent's done, which are thankfully the wordy thing. Lastly, the magic guy. Wall of text incoming in three, two, one. Fuck! God damn it. They're fixed. As inside, you find... You're not quite sure if this is supposed to be. But you do find a magical buckler, some kind of recipe for a staff that seems to focus light, and what appears to be some crafting regions. That is a, a nice staff? buckler. Uh, I'll note it does not differentiate between friend or foe. I mean, technically you stated enemies standing next to it, so it does. Okay, technically that's true. You got to me. <laughs> hmm. It's, not so it, it's one of those things that I always go back and check these days, because I've screwed up so many times just killing allies. Oh, you can't fix it now, I've already declared it. <laughs> I have an edit button. This is why we need to build all chronomancers so we can undo our last turn. <laughs> <laughs> And then one day we just all put our powers together and go, aha, we have blessed ourselves until last week, when where we didn't horribly embarrass ourselves in front of the entire audience. I do want to do a time loop campaign. I mean, I'll be honest, I kind of want to do a time loop campaign as well. Yeah, I'm going to pick that all up and call it good. I don't have the carry capacity for the buckler, so... I mean, you have a dog. Yeah. And a man. I mean, to equip it. Oh. Fair. I think, at least. Uh, it weighs five pounds. Five. Which yeah, I believe we'll is probably, to... like... We'll just give it to Wolf or Alana. It'll be fine. Both using, I think, or, or dancing scarves to handle weapons. Again, it's a buckler. Uh... I know, but you still take the, like, minus one penalty. If you're, Let like... Let me go check some... Some wording on something. Oh wait! No, I, my hand or my weapon is technically a one-handed melee weapon because I'm a blade scarf dancer. It makes it a one-handed. Whack. Oh right, you never handled with casting. That's why. Mm. Yeah. 
But technically, a buckler counts as the hand free. Yeah, but you lose the bonuses to the buckler if you use that hand. Well, yeah. I don't cast that very anyway. often. Actually, I, not I don't... for me. Oops. I mean, if for find... me and Alana, like, if, she, if, if you Alana find a way to use it, it, if you find a way to use it, go for it. But I'm yeah, just saying, I, I don't cast very often because I don't have spells because I have reduced spell casting. Does anyone else see nothing but darkness? Oh, you should be seeing Nervatop. All oh, right, I made this fucking map huge for some reason. Give me a second. Again, I mean, this is kind of your thing. It doesn't. No, it doesn't need to be this big. I probably just like whenever I make maps, I start off with like, okay, I make it kind of like big just so I have space to. Also, because the tiles I like using for some reason have like a bigger area than what is shown. So whenever I try and select shit, it's just a massive pain in the ass. But up the top left, you should be able to see, or hopefully you should be able to see. Yeah, I can see you now. As YouTube, is there now I'm missing? I don't think nope. so. Uh, Silas, technically. Oh, yeah, true. Be weird so, Alana, how good's your perception? Ha, I'm going to use knowledge for most of this. Yeah, but... Okay, fine. I guess I will just drink this elixir of vision myself. We're in a library. I feel like knowledge can easily be subs like a substitute for perception, only because of being in a library. Yeah, but you know, sometimes people leave things in the library, or I maybe haven't. I don't know anything about that. I have a perception because my scarf smacks me and says, "Hey, idiot! You have eyes. You can't tell me that's not how that works." I tend, I technically get perception from my scarf because I have a. Alert now, Eyes off of Roland and onto the road. Roland's technically back at the boat. Yeah, Roland's not even here. Yeah, I know. But still in your, still in your thoughts, however. Ooh, ooh, shame her. Weird. Well, yeah, I guess I'll have plus ten to perception for the next hour while we're searching. As Ash just fucking grows prehensile eyes. Prehensile eyes? What? Yeah, they just. Move outside your skull to look at things. Stop! It's like it's like <clears> this <throat> weird little stress reliever uh, toys you get where you squeeze them and their eyes pop out. Is anyone an artist? <laughs> Unfortunately, though, I curse the day that I was born with no hands. Oh, you no hands, so just <laughs> only my friends. Yes, I control everything from my feet. No, anyway, the three of you enter the library, which. As you step inside, yeah, a lot more sandstone, shockingly. The main thing that catches your eyes as you step inside are these three large statues, as well as what appears to be two ways leading down. Uh, team always go left. Okay, then. Can we take this split off? So first things first, though, we should probably ask, if, is there anything specifically unusual about the statues? Or these two. I mean, you can give me a perception or... Uh, those are supposed to be like benches. Okay. Perception or... Perception or engineering. Well, I can tell you... I'll give you a description. On the right, there is a man in... Kind of like scout... Well, rangerous clothing. 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 Uh, sort of long boots. Some kind of coat. Who appears to be pointing as if leading people somewhere. On the... Left down is just kind of a faceless, nondescript person holding their arms out to you don't know who, actually. And in the middle is another nondescript person who appears to be carrying a great weight. Also, I can tell you it doesn't matter how you split up now because they both stairways lead to the same place. Okay, well, I'm not sure why, but everything I have is calculating one lower to add one to this. I just looked at over my entire sheet and there's nothing there that could tell me why. I uh, know you didn't have fatigue on or something, did you? Mm, oh, I might be. Hold on, am I? No. I'm not. I don't know why. Oh, well. Anyways, just add one to all my, all my knowledge rolls for now. It's really weird. Mm. Nothing seems odd about the statues, but you don't notice, like, each of them has a plaque in the language that you can't quite read. I know languages. I'm going to fucking hit linguistics, anyways. Go for it. I'll tell you now, you can attempt to decipher them, but it'll probably take you a little bit. As Ash walks in, hold- Fuck you! Why are you always like this? <laughs> what? I'm sorry! Why, why are you anywhere. surprised? It's rows and languages. 
It's like every yeah. time it's like, oh, it may be a bit difficult. Like, Rose is just like, let me just roll this fucking 20 on linguistic. <laughs> okay, I oh, could spend some time fucking this <laughs> time finger back, so I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay. Ash, meanwhile, steps downstairs, which appears to be a smallish library. It's more untouched by time. Uh, untouched by time? Yeah. Than any of the other places you've seen so far, and so insofar about it being less dusty and shit. And the book's seemingly okay. <laughs> you okay, Darren? I think he died. My nat 20 killed him. That's true. Mm. Alana rolled her nat 20. Ash stepped in and she's going down the stairs and just fucking fell and died. I'm sorry, what? Oh, sorry. I was saying, are you okay? You kind of yeah, like, made a noise and then went quiet. Oh no, I was just giving the description of the downstairs library. Yeah, it's a library. It's dusty, it's sandstone, and it's full well, of books. This one isn't quite so dusty. In fact, it seems kind of unnaturally clean. Oh mm. boy. But you're free to explore. Oh yeah. yeah. As Ash kind of comes in, you can also see a large... Set of doors to the right. Well, first things first, I need to... You know what? Alana's gonna pick through the books. It'll be fine. Hey, Big B. I am going to come over here and open the doors. Or at the very least... No, I am going to check the doors for traps because I can do that. Fair enough. 17. Include, okay, that's including a plus 10. Thankfully, that's enough to realize all these doors are locked. But beyond that, your skill as both a warder and just generally having two fucking arcane spellcasting classes, you can sense some, like an immense amount of power like thrumming within these doors. Although you can't quite see what is perhaps acting on them, yeah, you get the feeling these doors are like either protected in some way or perhaps they have some kind of magical trap associated with them. But you can't see quite how it'd be triggered beyond maybe beyond like obviously opening the door without disabling it. I see. So I'm gonna need to go get Aaron in here. Beyond that, I guess it is. Yeah, you know, I'm a suspicious sort. I want to come over to this left wall here. Uh -huh. I want to search for secret doors. Give me a perception. 33. Oh, damn. Okay. Ash, as you search for the books, mm, you twiddle with a few, you look at the walls and try to search for cracks. But unfortunately, you don't find any secret doors. What you do find, however, is one of these, like, although you can't quite read the language, language in these books, you do notice one thing that's kind of out of place. In that, like, you know, just as a learned individual, you pull up one of the books and realize, like, huh. It just, like, the writing inside feels weird to you. Almost as if, like, there's no structure to it and it's just the words written over and over. Uh, detect magic? There's a very slightly magical aura to it. Okay. Hey, Lana. Speaking of. Alana, with some time, mm -hmm. and perhaps any reference material you might have, you think you've got a vague translation of what each of these plaques says. Nice. Which I'm going to write out for you, because, well, shrug it's easier. Abandon all hope, ye all who enter here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm fucked on stairs, I'm kidding. Honestly. Didn't have it in the first place. Yeah, I'll just leave it this way so it's easier to read. Beware all who read this, for thou has been past explosive root. The next sentence is a curse. I tried to warn you. Oops, that's not how you spell welcome. The burden of our people. Some guide fucker. Those who followed and welcomed the embracing singer. Okay. I mean, it makes sense for the person cosplaying Atlas to be the burden of our people. Is there anything in the world to learn about this dude, considering he has an actual name? Mm, hold on. Where are you from? I am from the north. Uh, Technically, there's two land masses. I'm just going to quickly flick you over to the title map and you can tell me which one. 
Okay. I'm sure it's harder to say me. Basically, the question is left or right. I'm from the left. Okay, so Oceana. Yes. Probably. More than likely, considering this is halfling country. Well, I'm from here. She, she could be halfling. <laughs> I'm, I'm from, from halfling Han. country. You, yeah. you, you heard of those people who were raised by wolves? She was raised by halflings. Oh god, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> She's raised by fucking James. Okay, to be James fair, and I, Ari, which is almost as worse. I didn't know this is halfling country. I just chose it because it was in the nice north and it seemed like a place that James and, and Ari would I don't know. I think it's completely hilariously in character for him to be like, you know, we'd settle in the halfling country. You're very nice people remembering yeah, Celia. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Halflings enjoy their booze. That's where I just set up a shop. It's good. Halflings are close to dwarves, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's James' uh, logic right there. <laughs> hilariously, Atlon is actually the dwarves country, so you managed to completely, like, throw a dart and completely miss. But fair enough. <laughs> I mean, it's um, almost the is... same colour. Almost. True. But I'm afraid no. Uh, you're back... <laughs> you're, um... Background does not fit anything that would allow you to make a rule for this in particular. I didn't think so, but I had to ask. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. Why Especially not because rule? I was expecting the fucking curveball being from Halfling Country. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. But it's even funnier sometimes. It is it. funnier. Would I be able to roll anything to get sort of hint where they're from? Not information on it, but like. Just oh, actually, it. yes. You can roll me a local. Okay. That. Is maybe doable. That's been 18. Well, the first thing that kind of gives you a hint is that this person isn't human, although they are humanoid. Uh, there's kind of some slight differences in the fact that you can see, oh, they have like an extra joint in their like in their fingers and stuff like that. Well, I say stuff like that. Mainly, it's the extra joint. Okay. Didn't the people that were like on the floating city have like extra joints and shit? Like the the original I... people that are all. Right off now. I don't remember, but considering where this is, that feels like something that might be a thing. I, I remember they were humanoid, but not not like Game any of the other smiling, races. So I'm going to say Alana would remember, because Alana has more brain cells than I do. Hmm. Well, I have to say, out of character, it honestly depends, considering they also had cow people, so like... <laughs> uh, I guess okay. these are the cow people from the Underdark. Hey, come on, I had a vague memory here, you have to give me that much. Oh no, I'll give you that, but I'm just like thinking like, they had cow people and gigantic like, snake people. Oh, not good use. Or whatever, whatever it was, it was like fish people, I can't remember. Oh, okay. Well, Anna, with the one thing that I now know, is just gonna kind of assume from that city, and kind of shrug and start heading downstairs so that she can maybe find something about that. Fair enough. Also, Big B, I, d I know you're probably still waiting, but if you want to do anything on this map, feel free. I tell you that too much for now. He's going to read the minds of the statue. Much, much. I mean, you never know. As Ash calls uh, to Alana of having found something weird. Mm, what's up? Um, You're a polyglot. Here, have a look at this book. I can't make sense of its language. Also, mm -hmm. the book is slightly magical, so if you have read magic prepared, there's that. I'm gonna assume Alana does not know anything off the bat looking at it, or might. Maybe she has miscellaneous bonus, but probably not. Does she have a bonus from knowing anything about the statues? <laughs> I mean, especially having decoded what, you, or at least what you think is correct for the statues, uh, yeah, you can see, like, the. The words upstairs had structure to them. Sentence structure of some kind. This book d has none of that. It's like, just words. It doesn't look like it's a dictionary or anything, so it isn't like... Or at least it's not a book that is supposed to be like as disjointed as this is. Oh, that's... interesting. Uh, Alana's gonna go ahead and cast Read Magic, and I'll roll a linguistic and see if I can maybe learn a little bit more about it. Well, instead of linguistics, can you give me a knowledge arcana? I can do that, yes. Can I aid? Yes. I'll try it. Unless you want to roll yourself, but yes. I have uh, a 13. How long does it matter to you? Yeah, I'll aid. I can't fail. Okay. I'd... Let me just add a 
agree to this because it's so calculating wrong. So, fifteen. Shouldn't be cursed or anything. So I don't know why. I, I don't Man, know I'm why. I'm this one. I will look at your sheet in a second. And this is where Alana realized, oh, well, this is also well, this is a book. It's something else as well, as the magic seems to be linked to something else, but you're not quite sure what. In so much of that, you think this might be like some kind of trigger for something. Should it be placed somewhere or used in the correct way? With your role, you're leaning more to place somewhere. Oh, wait. Having just investigated the door over to the east, did I see any, like, receptacle for a book? No. Unfortunately not. Oh, I quickly realized what was wrong with my seat, by the way. Because oh. I had Bard in parentheses, it decided that it will not calculate that. I'm just calculating wrong. I see. Instead. Alright, I can't fix that at least. Lamo. That note said. But no, unfortunately there's no receptacle or door slot on the door from which you can add stuff onto it. The only real feature to the door is handles. Oh, actually, Ash, you have Detect Magic running now, yeah? Yes. If you take a look, oh, presumably because you turned to look at the door, you can find a few other books which have a similar aura. Uh, not oh. only here, here, and here. Now that you've kind of already seen it, it's fairly easy to notice now. Alana, I see a couple mm -hmm. more magical books. I'm going to go gather them all for you really quick. Uh, okay. So Ash will basically just dart around the library real quick, grab you, you like three slightly magic books, and just kind of put them onto a uh, one of the desks here. You. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come over to this desk then and kind of pull all the books together. Sure. The books are actually, well, the contents are very similar in that they're just not, they're garbled nonsense. Mm -mm. I'm just going to take your time, look them over, and see if you can find anything else out. Do you want me to make another roll? Or you just want to carry over what I did? Mm, yeah, I can carry over. Okay. Uh, what was it you're in particular trying to look at? I kind of want to see if there's like some sort of pattern here at all. Mm, the only pattern Alana can really recognize is that all these books hold the same enchantment and it's all connected to something else, but you're not sure what. You probably need a more powerful version of or divination to actually find out where. Okay. My next question is, did the place in which I gathered the books, were were they like different at all, or were they just randomly stuck in the shelves? Looks like they were just kind of randomly spread throughout the library, yeah. As far as you can tell. How many books are there? Currently, we have four. Hmm. Unless you mean the entire library, in which case there's a lot. No, I mean just the special books. Are can they you... color-coded at all? Like, are they all different colors, at least? Or are they all bound the same as well? They are all bound the same, and they're not all different colors, but there's like two two red books, like a green book and a blue book. Look at the statues! Or did. I don't suppose there's any form of connection I can make with the statues. I already decoded them. Do you go up to investigate the statues? Yeah, might as well. Sure. Yeah, let's give me a second, because I need to both open both of your character sheets. And also probably fuck you, because I'm. Da -da -da. Oh, never mind, you roll another fucking 20 rolls. Hey, really? Yeah. Did I? Let me just... <laughs> that 20 of them secret rolls. <laughs> I see. As you get closer, uh, your knowledge of magic seems to help you here. As you recognize, oh, something you missed before when looking at the statues. There's a latent enchantment on this statue. Hmm. Which one? The middle. The burden. Okay. In fact, it seems sort of similar to one on the books. Okay. Well... There wouldn't happen to be slots in the big thing he's carrying, is there? Well, <laughs> if you move the, or if you touch the orb, you soon realize, oh, it rotates. Time to rotate around. Yep. Unfortunately, there isn't like a fucking image for this, but you can rotate the orb so that there is, uh, you do find on, I say one of its sides, it's a fucking sphere. There is a slot on it that you could potentially put books in. I'll go ahead and start putting the books in, because you don't have a better plan yet. 
And yeah. one, two, three, four. Do we hear anything? Nope. I'm gonna go downstairs and go try the door again. I'll let Ash do that. And as Ash goes to try the door, the door opens. Whatever power was thrumming through it before his hand seems to have dissipated. We open the door, Lana. Oh, I'm gonna come back downstairs then. She doesn't make sure not, no weird shit happened when the door is open. And I'm going to assume you go inside. Yeah. I mean, unless Alana wants to sit here and just start gathering books while I figure out this. Mm, nah, I'll, I'll stay with you for now. Nah, there, there, there are more and presumably better books in here anyway. Exactly. Okay. With the two of you entering here, I need a couple of things. First of all, there's a bunch of shit here that I'm going to have to paste out, so I'm going to do that and then go to the toilet. But first of all, can you both give me Arcana, or Planes or Arcana checks? Alright. I'll As cover Arcana, you can... you can cover Planes. Fuck. Oof. Oh, damn. Rolls rolling hot. Hopefully that's good enough to cover for the both of us. Well, the main thing is, now that you've opened the door and can see this, is this on the gym layer? I can never tell my circles. Oh uh, yeah, the circle? Yeah. The main thing you can tell now is, oh, that was what the door was linked to trap-wise. And as Alana studies it, she can realize, oh. She thinks that basically if you'd broken through here with force or fucked up trying to like pick through the door, this would have summoned something. Which, uh, let's see, what would it have been? Oh, okay. It would have summoned a drowning devil. Yeah. Mm. Which, even with your nat 1 on knowledge, uh, yeah, you know that's nothing to mess with, as judging by the name, it fucking drowns people. Oh, and I look particularly unhappy at that. For now, the circle is, well, disabled. Though, you think probably if you take the books back out of that sphere, it will re-enable itself. Can I break this at all? Well, uh, if you want maybe to take not the time, right right now, but yeah. she will take the time when they leave to break it. Fair. Yeah, if you want to do it safely, you have to take the time. Otherwise, you could, I don't know, just fucking nah. cut it and then fight the thing. But you nah, she's taking the that. time when we leave. She's she's destroying that and making sure it's done safely. Now. The, rest, the rest of everything you find. First of all, these people seem to have a lot of knowledge. And unfortunately, a lot of it is, you know, not in a language you quite understand yet. You'll probably have to take some time with, like, a comparing languages to figure it out. Well, what I will mark down da, 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 is you have, or assuming you want to take it from this place, there's a lot of ritual material that, although you can't quite understand the words, you get the kind of gist that it's like joining two things together. Hell yeah. The other things are thankfully a lot easier to identify because they have, well, a lot of them have images, and they appear to be technique scrolls. That's pretty neat. Unfortunately, none of you here use a pole arm, which is these people's preferred weapon of choice. Well, and again, there's nothing stopping you from learning to use a pole arm. That one. And finally, a style scroll, which is probably a thing I have to explain when I come back. And beer be. Interesting. And I'm back. Welcome back. All right, and beyond that, you also find some materials. So I completely missed that part. Well, we found the treasure. Now to just grab some interesting books and get out of here, I guess. Yeah. Grab some souvenirs. Hell yeah. I'm just going to take time to look for these kind of books. Surprise. And yeah. actually, a little bit of nature. Presum uh, mostly looking for stuff about Faye. I'll not uh... be able to find much, but she's going to try. You say that, though. Uh, they do have stuff, but it seems to be more like catalogs of creatures than anything else. Yeah, but that's neat. She'll take that. Why not? I'll take my own bestiary. Oh, what? <laughs> Alana just kind of looks at a book and goes, Monster Manual 5th Edition. What's this? <laughs> We're not going that meta. Um, I suppose... Ash is going to be just, um, I suppose there's no way of knowing if there's any good fiction here. Uh, not really, no. Okay, well then, I'm just going to 
use Arcana, pick out a few good books related to that. On fiction? Yeah, he's... Well, no, I mean, he's looking for... So he's, yeah. Anything um, good, magical. Although, like, if a good... If a good, um... Saucy romance title or something comes up, you know, that's probably just going to just grab that, put it in their bag, and just, uh... Not make any mention of it for right now. Big V, because I imagine Silas is here, you're just eating. Do you have anything that he'd also want to look for? Probably just roll it. Let's see if I can find any, like, books on foreign nobility, I guess, because this place is interesting. Foreign nobility. Yeah. Potentially see if yeah. there's anything on psychic powers. Also, pinging psychic significance. Ah. Okay, then. As Silas comes and pings psychic significance. The main thing is, yeah, you can tell this place was definitely lived in. Well, judging how long ago, kind of a bit iffy, because there's a lot of strong emotions, there's a lot of middling and weak emotions that kind of just, been, like, saturate this place, forming, like, a portrait of just different experiences that creatures have had down here. Uh, other than that, you can see... <laughs> the issue of detect psychic significance and places like this is a lot of people, as this is a library, have checked out these books. So yeah, a lot of these books are saturated in emotions, though they don't really lead you to anything useful, particularly. Except maybe like a couple of books that seem very boring, because those are kind of flat across the board. Okay, then. But if you want to look for books on psychic significance, I believe that's technically on Arcana. Let's give it a go. Which at this point, I'm probably just gonna say the group grant grabs like an armful of books and runs away. That's valid. Shove this all into a bag and run. I'm probably also look for plain stuff. I think Jesse's roll twenty is being a bitch. Yeah. Mid. I mentioned that too, since we're all kind of looking for two things. Like so I was looking for nobility as well, and I was looking for religion and and stuff on pay. Yeah, like I just I, like yeah. I said, I'll just say that you have a big scramble of books. Okay. At this point, you're all grabbing. Can, can I just ask, Rose, do you have someone snoring in your background? Yes. I, I thought you did. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't hearing things. <laughs> okay, so that's what that was. This is gaslighting you by snoring every day after every day she speaks. <laughs> no, no. I did not fall asleep mid-session again. But I have I'm to admit, that was my morning first morning thought. That was my first thought when Rose was talking, I was hearing the snoring. Sorry. I was like, God damn it, Toen's fallen asleep again. We don't really have proper room, and my desk is right next to the bed. That's fine, no, it's, it's barely fine. hearable. It, it's fine. It's just me. It wasn't like before where it was like, here come the sound of the drums of war. I I got, it's, it's all that bad, it's got a noise suppression application for it. Jeez. I mean, that's what you gotta do, I'm afraid. But regardless, unless any of you particularly want to do anything else here, you can return. I don't think so, because there's not like, nah, there's probably not anything on, on like, with like, scroll or, or spell books or anything. That'd be too convenient. Scrolls, potentially. It is a library, and they seem to have magical stuff in it, so. I mean, you've kind of already done your, like, search your rules with uh, looking for certain books, so potentially you might have something in there, you just don't know it yet is the main issue. Ooh. I mean, yeah, I'm spending some time searching for that too, I suppose. Might as well clean the place out while we can. At this point, it might just be a case to see you need to come back here and just fucking bring a wheelbarrow. That's true. Uh, I mean, that'd be Arcana, right? I mean, you've already given me an Arcana before, right? No, actually, you technically haven't. Sure, give me an Arcana. Okay, I'll note that down for later for when you actually manage to look at these things. Uh -huh. As da, 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 da. I'll move you back to the docks. Where technically Aaron and Marie would get down first, and probably noticing if was attempting to break into a, a house. He's not attempting to break into a house, he's attempting to burrow into a house. You having fun there, partner? <laughs> partner? No, stupid magic door not there, and magic house and magic. Stupid. Magic house? Yes. Guess just our entire building. 
Here, hold on to the shiny thing. I got it. Oh, yeah, As Aaron's going to hand the over the... Um, where'd it go? There it is. Uh, the fractured lattice. It's very rainbowy. Love it. There's a lot of light for it to refract with down here, but still. Mm -hmm. uh, the door. I'm going to go up to it. Okay. Well, the main issue... As you can move to the front of the building in what appears to be like a big runic circle on the wall. Very detailed and seemingly quite intricate. Well, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's destroying shit. So <laughs> let's break this. And there's a nice big Well, I mean, I'm going to first identify it. To figure out what the hell it is. It's like a rune of ceiling, I'm assuming. Also, what are you saying, Tinder? I was just saying there's a nice big hole next to the door as well. Where is that? Uh, it would be either an arcana or engineering check for you, I think. Well, we all know what that is. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be. I know you don't have it. Actually, have any arcana? I do have Oof. arcana. Oof. Rose is just fucking wow. sucking all the luck away from people. Fuck you, Rose. You don't have anything yes. to re-roll. No. Fuck. Uh, you can get an eight for Marie, which at least brings up to be a twenty-one. Okay then. So I scroll. The main thing you can tell, probably a good thing Epos didn't attempt to like magically mess with this thing, because you can see that although I the main... I forgot I could do that! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so, as Aaron learns now, it's a good thing you didn't, because uh, although the main circle is at the front of the building, there are inlays all, well, she presumes all around inside that if this thing is triggered, uh, not the correct way. Uh, this entire building's just gonna fucking collapse. Oh, well. Let me quickly uh, disable this. Well, hold on, because I'm not quite done. The additional thing you can find is that there. This appears to be kind of like a conventional lock and key. This thing is keyed to a certain item, and when it's placed against the array, the door will basically just open. Which, from what you can tell, this appears to be some kind of transmutation array, which will basically just, like, fold open the walls. Hmm. The hey, main Epos. issue is, if you fuck up here, uh, the building will collapse. Hey, Epos, do you find anything interesting that, you know, looks like a thing? I don't know what it'll look for. Epos find many things that look like things, and he starts pulling out, like, here's a rock, there's a bit of a bone, there's a stick. All right. You know, he Actually, found get... many things, but no transmutation type things. And he passes his bone over. Yeah. Aaron's going to take a quick look at the uh, lock and key and take out a small engraving tool and start etching into the bone quick. As Aaron's basically going to uh, do a uh, disabled device to pick open this door by tricking it into thinking that she found the right thing. Okay, then. Uh, I will not before you make your roll, hopefully. If you have stuff to spend, this is a good time to do it, because this isn't going to be an easy roll. Um, I have sabbatical reagents I can spend on making this a little bit more convincing. Um, um, how much would you be willing to spend, I suppose, is a question. Uh, 80? Prisvality is going to make the suggestion to just wait for the actual mages of the group. Oh, please. If the actual mages wanted to actually kick in, they'd be here. And besides, not everything could be solved with magic. If us is actual mage. Yeah, yeah, I know. Nothing wrong with it, but and, frankly, and not everything can be solved with magic, and not everything needs to be. No, but this... What, do you don't think I could do this? Just because I'm not magic, I can't do this? No, I'm saying... This is a magical problem. Uh -huh. Obviously, it requires a magical solution. Not if every needed, magical problem. If we needed to build something, you would be the first I would think of. But this Shut is up, I can do this. Thing. Hey, I got, like, a job, and that's unlocking things. And making plans. And making things, and exploding things, capturing I'm not even that good at exploding things. If you wanted to explode things, go talk to Nell. Nell isn't part of our regular traveling group. Yeah. No, I don't want it. <laughs> you could certainly try it, puss. No. I mean, it's only to aid. I only have to beat a 10. Oh, to aid. Okay, yes. 
Yeah, it, it's, mm, essentially, sure. rather than rather than aiding on the engineering side of things, it was just trying to aid on the magical side of things. Working with Aaron what trying... Aaron's got and going, yes, here, fool it better. Yeah, considering how Aaron's attempting to do this, sure. Can't fail on a one I hit ten. Gotcha. In which case, have a need. Uh, Aaron. Cool. Best team. Best team. Roland Dumble for watching the spectacle. Melody is going to just back the fuck up. Wolf sitting there also. Uh, That's a 30. With a sausage over the fire. 